Welcome back to Emma TV. My name is Marco and this is the live stream with the Pico 4 and the first time with Virtual Desktop here for me on Emma TV. Good evening. Welcome. <laughs> so I was a little bit late now as the German stream was a little bit longer than expected, but of course there are there were many questions. And as you can see, I have a cable here as the Pico 4 ran out of battery at the end of the stream and I had to recharge it and charge it now via this second stream here. So I have read a little bit here in the in the chat already. Nice discussion about the Pico 4. And let's say now you can ask questions if you have some questions. Now I can read it and I will answer it. It's too busy now to, or uh, it's it's uh, it takes too much time to read out of the comments and chat again. So please repeat your question if you have one. Okay, now I'm in Half-Life Alex here with Virtual Desktop and the Pico 4. Virtual Desktop will be released on the 13th of October and uh, will cost 20 US dollars or the currency in the country you were living in. And I don't know if um, the price will be different then with your currency. And um, it's important to mention that we have here an early state, but not as early as you might think when I say early as uh, the final version will be released next week. So very, very nice quality already with virtual desktop. So yes, nice question, Aria. What's the resolution at the moment? I will tell you, I will tell you. First, I have to put the chat here again on my wrist. There it is. <coughs> and the second page as well, on the right one. And it would help me if you mention the MRTV tag here. That would be very nice if you can mention me, tag me if you have a question then I can um, read and see the questions to me better. That would be nice. So what's the current resolution I play on the ultra setting? And in this version of Witcher Desktop, there's already a mention of a RTX 4090 with this ultra setting at 3168 pixels by 3168 pixels per eye. Of course, this is a higher resolution than the native display has. It's all it's always the same <coughs> when you see in SteamVR the same resolution that you have with your display. For example, here it would be uh, 2160 by 2160 pixels per eye. Then it would be wrong. We need lens buffer, for example. There will always be some frames we calculate and rendered more than I can see in the in the vision here in the field of view, because when I move here a little bit faster, or at, or I mean, uh, when I move at all, then we need those rain uh, those frames and pixels um, to be rendered before that. So uh, otherwise, we would have black borders or something like that. And of course, we have like um, barrel distortion correction with those lenses. We need some more pixels um, rendered um, at a at a specific place of the lens, and um, another position of the lens. We need less pixels to be rendered, and this is the reason why we have a higher rendered um, pixel um, resolution here, render resolution, and this is the one I've mentioned, 3,168 by 3,168 pixels per eye. Okay. <coughs> yes, Grace, are you playing wired? I am playing <laughs> um, with, with uh, yes, with power, not wired. <laughs> yes. Cass, how is the latency when streaming through Wi-Fi? My latency is very, very good. So I have a latency, I have a network latency with my Wi-Fi here, just like with the Quest 2 of 2 to 6 milliseconds, just the networking latency, but the overall latency is like 47 milliseconds here for me with virtual desktop. It's the same as every time 
when I play. It's a little bit higher now as I stream um, from my gaming PC, not my streaming PC to t tonight, so... Okay, I'm back. Sorry, a little bit hiccup here with my network. <laughs> it's because I'm in a different room than my um, than my main router is, and my second router makes strange things. I think. Okay, so again, I think you you have heard that the overall latency should be lower than 50 milliseconds to have a perfect experience. But even above it, it should be good. Yes. Okay. So, Aria, you're welcome. <coughs> Chris, how was the latency when playing wired? Also, can it charge while playing connected to a PC at the same time? Um, I haven't tested the USB-C streaming yet with the Pico Streaming Assistant. But tomorrow I will release here a new video on MRTV, which where I can, where I um, compare with the game Beat Saber, the virtual desktop for streaming to the Pico streaming assistant, the built-in streaming. And there you can see my opinion tomorrow or uh, anything related to the built-in streaming. Zelkin, how's the visual quality compared to Reverb G2? So the Reverb G2 is like two years old now and for me it's the clarity king in the center of the screen it's or it's it's the cl clarity king for the price and with which a desktop here on the pico 4 we can see also a little bit of this clarity so i think the pico 4 is the first wireless headset with which a desktop here um, uh, important to mention um, that can reach a nice clarity overall and a sharpness but and it's a big, a big, um, yes, uh, we have to mention a big and important thing here. Of course, it's, 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 we have a compressed picture. It's compressed. And this is something you would rather not see on the G2. And you, you will see it on the Pico 4. You will see the difference. And maybe this is something that would distract you I don't know I don't like the compression I mean it's okay it's it's okay but it's there I love my Pico Neo 3 link uncompressed picture with a display port cable I hate that the Pico 4 does not have a display port it's so sad in my opinion because then this would be a totally no-brainer for everyone out there yes so not a not a clear yes or no against G2 for me G2 is always better in terms of in terms of picture uh, um, quality but of course you have a wire and I would rather buy the Pico Neo 3 link with a display port um, to replace my G2 than the Pico 4 to be honest Cuz have you noticed that in, for example, Beat Saber? No, no. Um, this is nothing related to virtual desktop. It's just a problem here in my setup. Uh, it wasn't a problem in the German stream. It's just a normal live thing here. Don't, don't um, wait it here too high. <laughs> this hiccup. Uh, but you can see everything related to Beat Saber tomorrow. Okay. Cray is excellent. Looking forward to comparison. Yes. You can. No, not wireless versus wired. It's wireless with your desktop, the comparison, versus wireless with the Pico streaming assistant. So, no USB test um, in, in, the, in the past few days from me here. I haven't tested the USB connection yet. Just wireless. <coughs> And we we had the the version of the of virtual desktop before we got the Pico 4, so it's it was 
the first thing we tried, of course, Vigil Desto. <laughs> okay. So if you have a question, please, please um, tag me here at MRTV in the chat. Then I read your question. It's uh, too much for me to read every chat here, chat um, comment. So please uh, always mention at MRTV when you have a question. Yes, I will consider, of course, testing the USB connection. I will. It's just a matter of time now. So nothing, no reason for that. Just time, missing time here in my daily business. <laughs> okay, uh, Chris, uh, thank you very much that you mentioned this. <laughs> this was the first thing I mentioned in the German stream. The microphone you hear now is not a reference for the Pico 4 microphone. It's an... It's you you hear the Pico 4 microphone and it's not with the very 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 bad noise cancellation of the Pico 4 standalone chip here you can hear it uh, tomorrow in my video <laughs> but I have noise cancellation on my PC with Nvidia broadcast so this is not a unedited Pico 4 microphone now so please don't take this as a reference for the Pico 4 microphone. Very important. Thank you for the rem for the reminder. I've mentioned the German stream right uh, at the start, but now I forgot it. Yes. Valerio, is it worth 430 euros? Yes, it is. But of course it depends and maybe another headset would be better. So it always depends what you want want to do. Any idea, Dragnell, on when I can get a hold of one of these in Australia? Oh, that's sad to hear that as often you have problems in, in Australia, like with Valve hardware, for example, to, to get it. So I don't know anything about Australian um, yes, uh, shipment or something like that, but the Pico 4 is just for Europe and, and China right now, so I think you have no luck. Sorry for that. Okay, Tom Hawkins. Um, first, how does this perform in Microsoft Flight Simulator? I haven't tested it yet. I would say it does not perform well as virtual desktop and streaming compression always takes and took a lot of performance of your PC. So this is really important to mention that you have problems with the performance in comparison with a native PC VR headset. Not, not, not problems, but worse performance, not as good. Let's say it like that. This is more clear, I think. Yes. And um, is the Pico Link with the right connection better visually than the Pico 4? Yes, the Pico 3 is better. But the Pico 4 has overall a good quality, but it's compressed. It is compred compressed. I would love to say, but without a wire, but you can see me now <laughs> with the wire here as the battery ran out of, of uh, juice here. <laughs> Welding man, will the Logitech Chorus fit on the Pico 4? Sorry, I cannot answer that as I will make a video. <laughs> okay, please don't forget to mention me, to take me here. The sweet spot, the infamous vice, it's better than the G2. I think you mean, you do mean the edge to edge clarity, not the sweet spot. The edge to edge clarity. Yeah. Is way better than G2, but I think every headset has a better edge to edge clarity, to be honest. But not a better picture. The G2 has a great picture. But um, it's not stunning edge to edge clarity. It's very good, but it's not stunning like an arrow or something like that. It's just very good. So, yes, the edge to edge clarity is better than the G2. And also the sweet spot. So I put my headset on, I'm in the sweet spot, everything is fine. This is also here a thing. Great. Um, Craze, 
Yes, but it's not the active noise cancellation of Virtual Desktop. It's disabled in the version here because it does not work great. Um, I use NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Cancellation. So if I would disable it, but I, <laughs> I, I can of course, then you can hear every little sound I make and this is nothing I would like to do now. <laughs> but you can watch my video tomorrow. There you can hear anything without noise cancellation, without editing. So please uh, get the reference tomorrow in the video here on MRTV. Okay, a lot of questions. <laughs> I cannot play. But before I answer more questions, let me say something about the picture here. So here again, we can see the light and I can see in the shadows here, in the smoke, the compression of course. But when I when I look at the at the wall there, it's very clear to be honest. It's it's very nice. So when I shot the first zombie there, it looked very nice and it's very very bright and uh, the same color and this was very clear and crisp. This was this was an, a nice experience to watch it to look at. Oh. And now again, when I when I look at the light, it's very bright there. I can see those compression. But it's nothing nothing really bad. It's it's just okay. But it's not like native PC VR, but yes. Oh, what did I do? Um but it's a nice experience. It looks like it looks nice. It's okay. It's great. But not the best picture I've ever seen. But this looks very, very good. Better than on the quest two. I gave you one of my lesser guns. Thanks, Russell. Well, you know, in case it doesn't make it back. Tell you what, Russell. If I die, I owe you a gun. You owe me a gun anyway. That wasn't a gift. That's my gun. Good. <laughs> so this is very clear and sharp and I cannot see a compression here at all when I look here at the wall and the, the metal um, shower here. But this is another story when I look in the shadows here and the smoke in the in the bright bright light here. So it's very different and now I, when I look at the wall there through the smoke here it, you can see the compression, but it in general it looks nice. It always depends um, from where do you come from? Where do you come from? So do we have an arrow? Then this picture is not a very good picture. Do you come from a G2? Maybe this is something to consider here, the Pico 4, as you haven't got a wire and a bigger edge edge clarity. Do you come from an index? Yes, the index is not sharp at all, but in some situations maybe clearer as it's um, a native PC VR set without compression. It's not like you can answer this question with, ye with yes or no. Always with it depends. But of course you can ask me and tell me about your situation and, and your experience and I can um, yes, say something about it. Okay. Okay, a lot of questions here. I see, I see. Um <coughs> Sake Pico 4 with compression versus Valve Index. For me, the Pico 4 would win as the Valve Index is wired, as the Valve Index has um, those very expensive lighthouse stations. The Valve Index has those index controllers. I like it, but I hate it because they don't have a grip button. <laughs> So I would say yes, Pico 4, even with compression, maybe sometimes the index would look sharper or not sharper. Of course not sharper. The index is not a sharp headset. But it's a little bit more clear as there's no compression sometimes. But not overall, I would say. 
Nicola, does this have motion reprojection smoothing? Unfortunately not. You have motion reprojection with virtual desktop. This is very nice, but the Pico 4 in general with the built-in Wi-Fi streaming, you don't have it. But yes, with virtual desktop, you have motion smoothing and this is very nice. Not motion projection, but a reprojection, but motion smoothing, so every second frame would be interpolated, for example. Yes. Um, for someone that will only do PCVR, would you recommend the Pico 4 for all the improvements, or does the Neo 3 Link index are better overall, thanks to visual clarity? Only PCVR. When you don't hate your cable, then it's not the Pico 4, it's the Pico Neo 3 Link, as you can use Virtual Desktop anyway. You can use it on the Pico Neo 3 Link and use it afterwards when you don't want the cable uh, on some day. Um, you can use the Pico Neo 3 Link with Virtual Desktop, you can use it with the cable, you can. It's just uh, the perfect hybrid headset, in my opinion, the Pico 3. The Pico 4 is without a display port, and it's it's so sad. I, I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it that it's that there's not a display port. As the lenses are great and the overall design, the look and feel. Of course, the controller, but the controllers will work with the Pico 3 as well. The Witcher desktop version will be available in the store for 20 US dollars. And you can use APKs for other software like Android apps and can install it on the Pico 3 and Pico 4 without any problems. I have to scroll a little bit. So what was the last question here? Um... There. Okay, nobody knows it all. MRTV, when you shoot the gun in Half of Alex, is the rumble more punchy than the Quest 2? Okay, I will test it again. Little bit, but not much. Relax. But the the um, haptics, they are strong and better. But the translation here, I think, it's, it's not as good as I would feel it here. In, in other apps, like when I, when I hit the menu icons in Beat Saber, it's very strong, the vibration motor. So yes, the haptics are nice. They're not game-changing, but they are very strong. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, some, some, I have to scroll again. <laughs> Too much questions. <laughs> I like it that you are so interested in this headset, of course. Okay. Power Fred, any thoughts on display might be dimmed due to, due to pancake lenses? No. It's bright enough. I use it on 100%. But for me, it's a bright image, it's great. So nothing like an Apara or something. It is easy. Would using the USB give less compression? In theory, yes, but no. <laughs> As the XR2 is limited, the XR2 is limiting to... Uh, the XR2 cannot... Um, decode more than like 200 megabits per second so it's nothing to to um, yes I, I, I would not use a cable with the Pico 4 as it's, it's it's also compressed so when I have the Pico 4 I play wirelessly not with a cable. When I consider to play with a cable, then I use the Pico Neo 3 Link and would buy the Pico Neo 3 Link, definitely. So this is a statement. If you consider to play with a cable, always buy the Pico Neo 3 Link, not the Pico 4, in my opinion. 
D-Man, Valve Index Audio with Pico 4 Audio. The Pico 4 Audio, I've made a video, is not very straightforward to be honest. It's not that much better or maybe the same currently uh, as the Quest 2 to be honest. So Valve Index is a clear winner here. But it's it's good anyway, so the, the, the sound is good. But it's not like the Valve Index audio, no. Um, is the headset capable? Do we see any anything here? Okay. So um, the question was, du, 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 where was it? Is the headset capable of playing 4K movies or IMAX 3D 4K from the internal storage? Yes, it is. And you can even use Virtual Desktop for it, even without a PC. Virtual Desktop is also a great video player. Consider to use Virtual Desktop for your videos as the internal Pico video player is great, but it does not support uh, 21 by 9 movies. <laughs> it's very strange. For someone that will only do PC VR, I would recommend the Pico 4. Oh, I have already answered it, yes. If the game doesn't have much movement area, like Dimi, for example, can you use the headset without the top strap? I wouldn't use the headset without the top strap. It's mandatory. Otherwise, the the front or the back would. Uh, I I had to then I had to um, make it very very strong here when I um, close the headset on my head. So n no, always you have always have to use the top strap. It's not like don't think this headset is very light. It's okay, but it's not a very light headset. It's a normal weighted headset, but it's well balanced and a small form fa factor headset, but not very light. It's it's a normal weight. Okay, can I use Pico 4 HMD? Plus index controllers with virtual desktop, no. Not out of the box. And to be honest, I have done this with the Quest uh, with the G2. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's 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 a pain. <laughs> okay. Please don't forget to mention me, to tag me in the chat. I will always, uh, I will only answer those questions as the chat is, um, yes, well visited here. Unwell Gaming, will this be your new go to standalone headset? Do you think I should out replace my Rift S for the Pico 4? That's a nice question. Um, before I would like to ask you, why haven't you considered why why didn't you buy the Quest 2 as a replacement for the Rift S? I would like to know the answer. Maybe I can help you then better. Please don't forget to mark me here to tag me. Nobody knows at all. Have seen the Pico Video app and you have an option slider for 4K 8K. What does that mean? Um you mean the video app, yes, uh, but I mean the video player. <laughs> so the 4K 8K is just for those streaming videos and the TikTok videos you can watch here in it. But I mean the 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 video player. Of course, the higher the re resolution, the better the picture then. Okay, and well gaming. Understand you. Just didn't have the money till recently. Okay. So you have a Rift S, that means you have a PC and that means you would like to play mainly PC VR. Then the Pico 4 would be a great headset. But to be honest, maybe a Pico Neo 3 Link is the better 
thing for you as you can play also wirelessly you can play natively with it pcvr with the distro port cable so with the release of virtual desktop the pico neo 3 link will get a new life i think <laughs> new benefit in Figo, i am using a 3080 now currently yes and it's relevant to encoding bandwidth for wireless pcvr the bill how are controllers displayed in games like oculus or pico 4 controllers currently the controllers are not the pico 4 controllers but this will change this is something a lot of headsets will have and have when uh, they are new okay I've tried the hand tracking yet, yes, but um, it's just for the menu things. So no, no apps or something like that. The FOV to the G2 compared, for me it's uh, like 10 degrees higher in the vertical view. It's 102 by 102 degrees. It's a squared one per eye. The feedback from the controller is just fine, but not a new revolution or something like that. No haptic triggers or something like that. So it's nice to have, but don't buy the headset because of the, the tr no new haptic feedback. <laughs> The headset charges over cable, yes, but I haven't tested it on uh, with wi with uh, um, cable streaming, so I don't know if it discharges more than it charges. Your the Quest Two of your roommate should also charge on the over the USB. So I think there's something wrong. Maybe buy another cable with the power in when the if the USB is not. Um, giving uh, as much power. Cast heard rumors that they will release a wireless bundle for in the PC. Do we know anything about this? No, but they will release a wireless dongle for 50 US dollars. So this is something you can consider then to buy if you haven't already nice Wi-Fi. Okay, Pico 5 next year, yes, I think so. I think so. Unwell Gaming, thank you for your YouTube membership. <laughs> Welcome. The buttons are touch sensitive as Sebastian have uh, mentioned before in a video, I think. But um, yes, let's try it. Let's see if I can show it here um, I have to so now w where are you there you are now I put my index finger just on the trigger here and as you can see this is the gesture I don't press the trigger I just touch it with my index finger so this works well when I touch the thumb thumbstick, there you can see it, it also works. I don't press it, I just touch it. When I touch any of the buttons, it works. Now I touch the button B and you can see the thumb is only doing this gesture. But when I touch the, the button B, the gesture is like, so I love Half-Life Alyx. <laughs> the gesture is like in the real life as I would make those cringe here <laughs> with my with my thumb and yes it, it works very nice is there any other space here on the no there's not like a, a little space where you can rest your finger on and um, yes this is it so every button is touch sensitive here but which is n there's one button which is not touch sensitive and cap no capacitive touch the grip you have to press the grip but this makes sense as the grip 
um, is yes like analog but okay the trigger also is analog okay <laughs> the, you have to touch the grip you have to press the grip sorry yeah okay Michael Marion. So, in certain light conditions, the Pico 4 may have very noticeable compression. Would you say this happens often, or is this only infrequent occurrence during gameplay? It's infrequent at some games, but in games like this, it's very frequent. I mean, you want to know it, and of course, I mentioned it. It's is it new? new item here wow nice do 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 do. Um, but is it is it like a for me I, I, I have to say it like that I have a Pico Ne3 link and I would always prefer the display port connection of the Pico Ne3 link over the Pico Force compressed picture here. But when I want to play wirelessly, I would always consider to play with the Pico 4 and not with the Quest 2. It's good with the Quest 2 and it's good with the Pico Ne3 Link with Richard Desto, both. But it's even better when the with the Pico 4. When you always when you only want one headset, who does it all? then the Pico Ne3 Link is the go-to headset. When you only want a headset where you can play wirelessly and nothing else, then the Pico 4 is the go-to headset. When you want to play a standalone, uh, when you on only want to play standalone games as you haven't got a PC yet, then you would like the Quest 2 over the Pico 4 store, of course. Yes. This is my statement. My favorite VR game. Oh, I mean, of course, Half-Life: Alex is a great game. Wanderer is a great game. I like Asgard's Wrath. I like Hyperdash. I really like Ultimax, the new free game. In all on all of the platforms, I like. Oh, I will show you now. Now Hyper uh, Ultimax. It's a nice game. So let me close Half-Life Alex here and let me open Ultimax. And of course I like Automobilista too. I love sim racing. Okay, it looks nice. It looks sharp and crisp. It's great. The Witcher Desktop version on the Pico 4 looks better with those lens and display th than on the Pico Ne3 Link and on the Quest 2. So let's play one on one with a random here. Has do you think they can tweak the compression rate through software? Or give a quality settings for it. Um, they already done it. I mean, there's always a day when new update arrives and anything is suddenly and everything is suddenly better. But I think they've cranked up it and they've done everything they could do right now. So the sharpening they have here in the Witcher Desktop app. It's very nice for example. It looks great. I can see sharp to the audience there. I mean there is no audience <laughs> to be honest but you know what I mean. And it's great. It's a nice picture. Zack. 
<laughs> I love this game. It's like Rocket League, but in VR. Where is the ball? No! Yes! <laughs> Great! Video stretched. It's normal, sorry. Okay, I think there's a new uh, beginner here, my opponent. Oh. Oh no, what did I do? So one goal at least. For me, come on, I am destroyed. Come on. One minute left. No, no. I was just about to make another goal. Thirty seconds left. Where's my other fist here? Where is it? Don't do it, Robert. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I see what you mean. I don't know <laughs> why it's like that. Just a full screen. Sorry for that. Ah. <laughs> okay. So, this experience was very nice. I would never play this game with the standalone version. It, it looks horrible, so much edge flickering with the standalone version. And here with Witcher Desert it looks very nice. So compression in this game isn't a thing at all. I mean, of course, when you compare it A to B, it's always a thing. But now I had just fun. It was just a nice, crisp and sharp experience. I'm, I'm stunned how well this looked here with the uh, Pico 4 as I've played the first time Ultimax um, on standalone with the Pico 3 and after that I've tried it with Witcher Desktop on the Quest 2 and there it was better than the standalone version but not as good as now. Okay, I will keep the Pico 4 definitely. I mean I had the 35% discount with the Pico Neo 3 Link purchase so for me it was not a big deal in air quotes but um, yes this is my go-to wireless headset definitely but I will always keep my Pico Neo 3 link as my my uh, native PC headset 
the performance is just better with it and the picture also yeah okay yes craze <laughs> looking look forward to the day tomorrow D-Man, yes, compression is really an issue for tiny particles like smoke. Yes, very much. Oh, in the in the when I look in at the door there, I can see those compressed images and textures. I can see it because I know how it looks. But this is not a thing here in the game. It's always it uh, it always depends where you come from. So if you're a native PCVR user, it's maybe a bigger thing that uh, than when you are a Quest user or a Pico 3 Link standalone user, for example. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry for those uh, this capture of the game. Maybe I will switch to another game which is better for capturing on the desktop like what would you say about Medal of Honor Unwell Gaming in regards to the lenses are you able to see the edges of the lens like you can in Rift S and Quest 2 I can see it but in general and overall it's much bigger so it's not like I can see those toilet paper um, things, I don't know the term. Do 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 do. Welcome, Welcome to Medal of, of Honor above, above and, and beyond. beyond. No information and details about the dongle, but it will not improve compression latency. It will just you make your life a little bit easier. This is the reason for a dongle. Okay, so let me calibrate here my view. Good. <laughs> Great. I cannot try Skyrim as I don't have the VR version, unfortunately. Sorry. Please don't forget to tag and mention me here in the chat. Then I can, then I will answer your question. Yes, I like the 100 to 100 degree FOV. It's very nice here, to be honest. Okay, so let's play a little bit of... No, let's play this multiplayer and then I can make a private match with some bots. And I like this map. I love this game. It just looks very good and makes a lot of fun. Du, 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 du. Michael Marine, if Index Ultras plus Lighthouses are 10 of 10 tracking, how does Pico 4 tracking compare? My guess G2 tracking 6 out of 10, Quest 2 tracking 8 out of 10, Pico 4 tracking 8 out of 10, yes. Okay, this game does not run very well with Witcher Desktop while I stream this live stream to YouTube. <laughs> so, wow. I have like 20 frames here. I have to lower the, the in game settings a little bit just for this live stream. I don't use my streaming computer right now. Um, audio video, no MSAA and okay it looks horrible now I know but it's just just that I can play a little bit. Okay now I cannot I cannot say anything to the picture of course. <laughs> okay nee. this does not make sense. Maybe the the anti-lasing was already enough. 
I would like to have a mutator here to have instant respawn. Okay, now it runs better. This is great. How does it look? It looks good. I can see the enemies in the far. Ah. And I will get shot, of course. In this game, I see the compression a little bit more again. Not like in Ultimax. I can see it everywhere. But the game looks good. Respawn, please. It looks good and sharp and better than Virtual Desktop on the Quest. Is it just lower resolution has a ro lower resolution and it just um, has not as uh, good of the lenses here okay after him him myself where are you oh no oh, okay Okay, Kaz, I can show you that. I can show you this with the tracking. So, I have to go to a secret spot here. So, watch at my hand. Now it's at the back. And there's a little bit of delay. I don't know if it's just because of Witcher Desktop. Because, in general, Witcher Desktop is very fast. I have to do this in standalone, but it's not a problem at all. It's not just it's it's not like the hand is going anywhere. Of course, it's not get tracked. Do you see this? Do we see? Yes. There you can see my hand, but it's not where it's in real life. So of course, the the um, controller is not tracked right now. But as soon as it's in front of the camera, or beneath it, below it, then everything's fine. So tracking is not an issue anymore. But the latency, not considered here with Richard Dessa, but in overall the tracking latency is just over the top and just top notch, not over the top, just top notch with the index. You can feel a difference, but you are totally fine, like you, you said, 8 out of 10 with the Quest and Pico tracking. Nice. Spirit Malik is the Pico 4 much more power hungry than the Quest 2 post for PC VR. It is when you play it with on ultra as the resolution is higher. But of course you can play it at the same settings in your quest 2 then it's the same. Rise, how does how good does Beat Saber run in Virtual Desktop? You can watch my video tomorrow here on MRTV. I have made a whole video just for Beat Saber and a latency test and a comparison between the built-in streaming and the virtual desktop streaming. Race. How's the quality of watching videos on YouTube using virtual desktop, especially in 4K quality to take advantage of display? This is better than on Quest 2. It looks great. It, it really does. And it also looks great to play flat games with virtual desktop. You can play flat games no matter where you are, you can use your controllers, your motion controllers, as an Xbox controller, an emulated one. So I love Virtual Desktop, to be honest. Nice, okay, then I would like to test one last game. Okay. Let's 
quit the game here. And now I will try a game like do 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 Wanderer. I haven't played Wanderer quite some time now. Power Fred, as I understand, the RGB pass-through is just a mono image with no serial processing for now. Does it feel like looking at a flat screen? It does look a little bit weird. It's not like stereo, but not mono either. So this game runs not so good now. It's a little bit laggy uh, this is always the thing when streaming from the same pc we are so demanding and then yes i have to quit wanderer unfortunately maybe another try I have to put those windows again on my wrist as I have restarted StreamYR. Okay, seems to work now, great. Start. Okay, should lower the music here, again. New game. Okay, my pro progression will be lost. Why? Why can I have <laughs> few save games? So the RGB passed through. To be honest, it looks horrible. It looks very bad in my opinion. It's like the Quest 2 passed through with a little bit of color, but it's not sharp, it does not look good, it's mono. So a little bit of improvement, but not like anything to, to be happy with. <laughs> Okay. So how does this game looks like? I mean, this is a this is a good example of compression because now we are in a place here where we have much fog because that's the scene. It's just a retro scene and it 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 should be look like this, but of course now compression is a thing and at the same time it also looks good for co for a compressed image because it's sharp in my opinion this overall boost in resolution helps with the compressed picture here this is an improvement in my opinion so I'm very happy to play with the Pico 4 now, with Richard Desktop and not 
only with the Pico Nea 3 Link or the Quest 2. This. At this scene, there was no widescreen in front of me before, and I can see my controllers as I'm in the menu. <laughs> what's the, what's this? Cannot do anything. Okay, now the game lags. I don't know. It's it's strange. Okay. Cast, is it possible to use the Steam license on the Pico 4 standalone? No. And don't expect <laughs> to see Beat Saber in the Pico store ever, as it's a meta company. My PC specs craze are an RTX 3080, considered by 4090 in the future, and I have an i9-9900KS as a CPU. Nick, have you guys confirmed if it works through the cable? Yes, it does, but I haven't tested it. But, but there's an option, so it definitely does work with the cable. But when you want to play with the cable, please don't buy the Pico 4 only. Please consider to buy the Pico 3. With the cable, it's always the better headset, in my opinion. Good, then I will play like... What about Tetris? Where is it? Tetris effect. I love it. Okay, it's with the Oculus runtime again. I hate it. <laughs> I have it on Steam and it runs with the Oculus runtime. I have to ask again why Gigoda is doing this. So now I cannot read your questions in the chat anymore as there are no overlays with Oculus runtime games. Okay, I accept everything you ask. What's this? Oh, can you see everything well here in the stream? No, you cannot. So let me make this window bigger. Now it's red, I think. Thank you, I will accept. I will go to the options, to VR graphics, and I will say that the, I will set the graphics to epic, but of course rendering to 100% as we have a high resolution headset. No bloom, I had bloom in every game. not look like 100% now it looks like 50% <laughs> maybe we have to go with 200% what a strange option here I hate it when the developers do things like that okay now it's sharp again so let's try and I will re I will read the chat at the end of course again where is my progress?
So now I can check the... What's the button for placing it? Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> Again. Okay, there I can move it, yeah, with the trigger. wait for some points here then the sound then I can um, test the sound a little bit as the track will be start playing I hope it's not copyright track here but I don't think so looks great to be honest, I cannot see any compression here in this game now. But maybe in A B comparison, but not now. You you will get used to the picture. <laughs> it's something good to mention because when you get used to something and you can judge it then as good, I think then we don't have a problem at all with the compression. But I will take some time to make my final thoughts on this headset. So now you, you can hear there's bass in the song. And the bass is not translated, not transferred to my ear. I can feel that there's bass when I when I touch the speaker here, but the bass is not coming to my ear. So this is not very well done here from Pico, as the speakers are very big in comparison to the Quest 2. In my opinion, the Quest 2 is a little bit better, to be honest, than this speaker. In my opinion, they have to improve the software for the speaker, the equalizer. But will they do it? I don't know. We have to wait for it. I'm totally in this game. Totally in VR. Yeah, I love it. I can totally <laughs> suggest this game. It's not like Tetris, it's like the music, the haptics, I can feel the beat in my controller now. It feels great. It's strong. These are the feelings uh, a YouTube stream cannot be transfer. Cannot transfer. I have to say what I feel now. It's like VR is a completely different thing than, the f that a, flat, than a flat game. I feel every punch here in my controller. And I know the sound will be better, even better in this section. And I have the sound to the maximum volume and it's not as loud as I would think of. I mean for me it's okay but I, I, I know people they use the index with 100%, I can only use the index with 60% at the maximum. So then the Pico 4 is maybe not the loudest headset for them, when they want to use the built-in speakers.
I can totally imagine playing this game on my couch wirelessly. It's just great to have a comfortable place without a wire because you can play whenever you want in your home. This is a perfect example of the use case of a headset like this. But of course, if you have a Quest 2, you already know that and you don't have to buy the Pico 4 just for that. No, 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 oh, what did I do? Just two rows, one row. Okay, we'll take this. Nice, 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 nice. Great. <laughs> so let me watch the chat here. <laughs> I'm really excited about the Pico 4, but for PC you say the Pico 3 really link. But that has the old lenses, no pancake. Is the image quality that much better? Yes, it is, in my opinion. And the. Oh, it's so loud. To be honest, the pancake lenses. They are not very. that much different than the great Fresnel lenses from Quest or the, the Pico Neo 3 Link. So, yes, <laughs> the, the native PCVR picture is always better in my opinion. Unwell Gaming, how can I play my Oculus games on Pico 4? Will I just need to play Revive or is, it, is there any other way? Oh, that is a great question. You don't need Revive because it's already built in in Virtual Desktop. The Virtual Desktop app can emulate an Oculus headset and you can play any of the Oculus titles in your Rift library without Rewive and any of the titles will work. Even more titles like Bone Lab, it will work with, with Virtual Desktop but not with Rewive as it's OpenXR and the new OpenXR beta is just not good from Rewive. So, this is a real use case to play Oculus games um, that you cannot play with Redrive as you have no Oculus device. Play it with Virtual Desktop and your Pico 3 or Pico 4. Nice, okay, great. <laughs> Thank you very much to joining here this live stream. So I have tested a few games, I have told you my opinion, I have described my feelings, my, the picture I, I see, the sound I hear and I think you, you can judge on that. You can, you, can, you, you can compare many opinions on YouTube, any, um, any um, person will have another opinion of course every other person yes the lenses of the Valve Index are very bad so no problem at all with the Fresnel lenses on Quest or on Pico you will never see those glare again <laughs> you can see glare of course but not as much of uh, as much with the as with the index. When you have a quest two, uh, when you have a quest one, not anonym, and you don't have a big standalone library as you play mainly PC VR, then a Pico four would be nice. But as I said already, maybe a Pico Neo three link is also a good deal for you. Gentleman, hey. Subash, does Pico 4 support 8K videos at 60 frames? 
I mean, um, theoretically, I haven't tested it. It it could be possible to play it, but to be honest, which I, I haven't watched an AK file yet with 60 frames. <laughs> so it could be a little bit, the, the XR2 chip could struggle a little bit with it. But when you stream it, of course, it's made possible. Nathman, oh, I, I had a great discussion about that. For media use, videos, movies, do you think it's also better to have the Neo3 link with DisplayPort connection? The thing is, when you just want clear, lossless picture quality, then you only get this with the with the native PC VR experience. I had a discussion with Giga Dern from Virtual Desktop, and he said. Virtual Desktop is the best, of course he said this, as he's developer and owner of Virtual Desktop. <laughs> he's a little bit biased, I think, but I will, I, I believe him because I, I know how good Virtual Desktop is. He said that Virtual Desktop is the best way to watch movies as it's, he said it's the only application which renders the, the video in the best way the XR2 could and the rest of the environment like a, 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 um, a cinema you sit in a virtual or something like that this is a little bit downscale to to save performance and other applications will not do this so this is an advantage of feature desert but he said if you want lossless there's no other way pure lossless like the rest of the 20 or the 10 percent which is left on the table then you have to do it with PCVR. Yeah. you can you can download it to the pico 4 it's just like in a phone just plug it in or you can you can um, transfer it wirelessly to natively standalone no problem at all everything's fine great <laughs> yes, it's bedtime, it's see. Greetings to the Netherlands. Thank you very much to joining this MRTV live stream. It was uh, very great to get new impressions for myself, from you, for the audience and the viewers, of course. And um, with the games I played for the first time, like Tetris or Half-Life Alyx, now with the Pico 4, I, I've said a little... Uh, I've said... Um, I think what I thi think about the Pico 4 and um, I will have um, to experience the device even more in the next month or, and weeks. So it's uh, excited to have a final thought maybe in the next few weeks. But I don't think that I will have final thoughts in October to be honest because there's so much to compare and so much to to learn about it and it always takes time thank you Cas. i hope i read your name correctly <laughs> yes tomorrow beats a video with pico 4 okay great thank you very much we will see each other again in the next video, in the next live stream tomorrow in the MRTV uh, virtual desktop video from me with where I uh, test the latency and I will compare the built-in Wi-Fi streaming to the virtual desktop Wi-Fi streaming and yes, thank you, have a nice evening, goodbye.